When I was a young doctor, actually during the training years, we worked either every night or almost every night. So we had this custom of getting together at midnight when the work was supposedly done and eating and drinking and telling amazing stories of what had happened during the day. Now some of those stories were so remarkable that I've remembered them down through the years. And so I was able to use them in this book, The Soul of Medicine. In addition to that, I spoke to certain physicians that I've always admired for their probity, for their ability, everything about them. And I said, I want you to tell me the most interesting case you have ever had in all of your practice. And I chose individuals from different specialties. This is reality. These are the kinds of bizarre and twisted things that happen in hospitals all the time. The purpose of this book is storytelling. The purpose of this book is to capture the imagination of the general reader who has never worked in a hospital in a professional sense and uh, let them know that this can be remarkably interesting. It's a book I've wanted to write for a very long time, ever since I began writing. And there was always something in the way, something else I wanted to write about. To write a book of stories didn't seem as important to me, for example, as writing the, the biography of some medical pioneer. It didn't seem as important to me as writing about the human body and explaining it to the laity. It didn't seem certainly as important as writing about death and dying. Well, I've written a lot of books and I've started to say to myself, you know, if, you, if I don't write that book of wonderful stories now, I'm never going to write it, so I'll do it now. And I had a glorious time doing it. <laughs>